Hey everyone, it's the first week of school and our first day is actually on Wednesday and today's Monday. So tonight's actually meet the teacher. So we're in our classrooms today setting up and getting ready for that. It's already nine, so I've been here for a couple hours now. So mainly I just finished putting their books in their desks. Finished my bulletin board and now my plan is to start getting ready for meet the teacher. So I have popcorn here that I always give out during meet the teacher night and I put this little tag that says thanks for popping in and I put that on the popcorn. So I'm gonna do that now, just getting last minute touches ready for today. And then in a few hours, I'll get ready for meet the teacher. So I'm gonna do that now. So currently I am taping all of these popcorn with the sign I showed you. So once I do this, I'm just gonna get all the papers organized. I do need to print a couple more things for meet the teacher. So I need to do that, but it's still so early. It's only 10.30, so I have plenty of time because um, that's not until five, so yeah. All right, so I finished putting the little tag on the popcorn. So I laid it out here. And then I like to do different stations for Meet the Teacher. So station one will be our sign-in station. Station two is where you'll meet the teacher. And then I have a bunch of forms to give out. Station three is where they are gonna be filling out some forms. So these two tables, or even these three tables, or even these three tables, they can sit there and fill those out. Then when they're done over here, they can do our sign up for our talking points app, and then finally leave and take popcorn. So we currently have about an hour and a half until meet the teacher, so I'm gonna start getting ready. Normally every year I just get ready in my classroom because we stay all day to get our rooms ready and clean up and then it's easier just to stay here than go all the way home so I just get ready before but it feels good to have everything done already and it's so nice now going into my third year and not feeling as stressed or like overwhelmed with anything like it's way more comfortable because obviously my first year I was a hot mess like not knowing what to do or feeling so stressed and overwhelmed and then my second year was my first year at the school so I was still learning a lot and not really knowing what to expect but now it feels so nice going into my third year I feel way more comfortable so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and then I will talk to you guys when I'm done getting ready all right guys so I'm officially ready for meet the teacher night so everything is classrooms ready to go here is the front overview of my classroom and then board ready so I'm excited and then I also always play instrumental music in the background during Meet the Teacher so it's just a fun more uplifting vibe in here and it's not like awkwardly quiet or anything. But yeah I'm excited and we have like 30 more minutes so I'll talk to you guys after Meet the Teacher and hoping it goes well. Alright guys so it's now Tuesday. Meet the Teacher went really really well and honestly my highlight was seeing some past students. This is my first year where I'm actually able to do that because since I moved schools my second year, I didn't get to see my students from my first year, you know, moving on to the next grade, seeing them down the halls. And that was one of the hardest parts because I loved and missed my students so, so much. But so this year being able to see my past students like down the hall was so fun and truly a highlight. Like I'm like, wow, they've all grown up so much in just short six weeks. And it's just really special and I'm like, Oh, I love them so much. Today is Tuesday and tomorrow's our first day like I mentioned earlier. So today we're actually just doing some more meetings and last minute prepping for tomorrow. So that's what we're doing today. We're starting off with a breakfast potluck this morning with our whole staff. Then we're doing meetings and stuff and then finally working in our classroom. So final day before tomorrow. I can't believe tomorrow's the first day. I still have so much to do. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I Well, when it comes to like slides, like everything's done. My classroom's done. Copies are printed. But like my slides, I still need to do that. So I'm going to do that very, very soon. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. So all morning we had meetings and 
We now have about an hour before we have to leave, but we've had time this afternoon to work in our rooms and meet with our teams and stuff. So I'm just getting prepared for tomorrow, cleaned up all my Meet the Teacher stuff, because I, after Meet the Teacher, I literally just left. And I put this sheet out along with the blank sheet. So when they come in in the morning, they'll just color this and fill this out. And then I have a blank sheet because I have them make a little tent with their names. So that way during the first week, I'm able to learn their name and it'll just be all on their desk. So I have them do that as well. And then currently I'm just getting their caddy set up and ready. So I have these plastic containers and then I'm just gonna put a pack of crayons in there. All right, hi everyone. So yesterday was actually our first day of school and today is now Thursday, but yesterday was such a crazy day. Um, so I did not have a chance to talk to you guys, but in the morning I was just finishing up Honestly, I prioritized my short form content more, so that's why I didn't get a chance to talk to you guys because I was like in a rush and then I forgot that we had to do morning duty even if we have afternoon duty just because it was like the first day of school. So I had limited time in the morning, but yesterday actually went so, so well. It was a great first day of school. I'm, I am was super excited to meet all of my students. They all seemed really great and we had a really good day and I was like, but I was so exhausted at the end of the day. So like as soon as work was over, I went home and showered, ate dinner and relaxed. I forgot how it felt being on your feet for the, an entire day. And because it's like the first day where I did not sit down until the afternoon. So, and on top of that, it was like over 110 degrees after school. So during dismissal, it was just crazy and super, super hot. And it was just a lot. So it was a crazy day, but in terms of the first day of school for my class, it was went so, so well. And I'm just really excited to be a third year teacher because that was the thing is I feel so much more confident in what I'm doing just because, like I said earlier, like obviously my first year, I was just trying to keep my head above water the entire year. It was one of the hardest years of my life. And then my second year, it was my first year at this school, so I was still learning, you know, how this school is ran and everything. And then now I finally feel so confident and comfortable in what I'm doing and just and just trying to improve myself as an educator from last year and just trying to get better every year. So yeah, I'm really excited. And today is now Thursday, like I said. So we have two more days of the week and we luckily perfectly went through all of our assignments that I have for the first day of school. So now I'm just gonna look through and see. I might print out a few more assignments just because we were going faster than I anticipated. So I wanna make sure I have more than enough. I'd rather have a lot more extra activities planned than not enough. So that's what we're going to do today. But I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm just wearing a pink dress today. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys, we finally made it to Friday. Literally, it really does feel like a TGIF, even though this week was short. We, the first week, we only have Wednesday through Friday. But as you guys saw, I was still really busy Monday and Tuesday, just getting everything prepared and ready. So the bell rings in about 10 minutes. So we'll pick up kids. But this week's been going really, really well. It's been great getting to know my students more, and it's just been really well. So I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today, and then I'll get started with my day. So on Fridays, we can wear jeans. So I'm just wearing a teacher tee that says, in my my teacher era some jeans and sneakers so that's what I'm wearing today and really during the first week it's a lot of hammering in classroom procedures getting to know the way our classroom is ran a lot of kids are new to our school this year so them getting familiar with how our school is ran getting to know one another really building that classroom community so we're doing a lot of that this week and then next week we'll start our curriculum today we are doing classroom job applications, which I love doing in my classroom because it just makes them feel way more part of our classroom and that they really have an important role in taking care of our classroom because I don't want them to see this as just my classroom. It is our classroom together. So it's every single student's job in this classroom to take care of it as well. So the students love classroom jobs too. They already have been asking to have a job and if they can help. So I'm really excited to get that going this week. So how that works or how I do it is today I will go through all of the classroom jobs that we have, teach them about each job, and then they will apply for which job they want. So I, I give them this and then I will choose based off their application which job they will get. So yeah, my day's gonna get started soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and 
coming along with me for the first week of my third year of teaching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.